very good morning students regarding chapter 2 human reproductive system today we are going to discuss female reproductive system the female reproductive system is far more complex than the male because in addition to gamete formation it has to nurture the developing fetus the female reproductive system consists of a pair of ovaries along with a pair of ov ducts uterus cervix and vagina and the external genitalia located in the pelvic region these parts along with the mammary glands are integrated structurally and functionally to support the process of ovulation fertilization pregnancy child birth and child care ovaries ovaries are the primary female sex organs that produce the female gamete ovum the ovaries are located one on each side of the lower abdomen so pad ovaries are located one on each side of the lower abdomen the ovary is an elliptical structure about 2 to 4 cm long each ovary is covered by a thin cuboidal epithelium called the germinal epithelium which encloses the ovarian stroma the stroma is differentiated as the outer cortex and inner medulla below the germinal epithelium is a dense connective tissue the tunica albuginea The cortex appears dense and granular due to the presence of ovarian follicles. In various stages of development, the medulla is a loose connective tissue with abundant blood vessels, lymphatic vessels and nerve fibers. The ovary remains attached to the pelvic wall and the uterus by an ovarian ligament called mesovarium so double layered fold of peritoneum mesovarium connects ovary with the wall of the abdominal cavity fallopian tube the fallopian tubes uterine tubes are ov ducts uterus and vagina constitute the female accessory organs each fallopian tube extends from the periphery of each ovary to the uterus the proximal part of the fallopian tube bears a funnel shape infundibulum the edge of the infundibulum have many finger like projections called fembrie which help in collection of the ovum after ovulation the infundibulum leads to a wider central portion called ampulla the last part of the ovary duct is the isthmus 
which is short and thick wall connecting the ampulla and infundibulum to the uterus. Uterus or O is a hollow, thick wall, muscular, highly vascular and inverted pear shaped structure lying in the pelvic cavity between the urinary bladder and rectum. The major portion of the uterus is the body and the rounded region superior to it is the fundus. The uterus opens into the vagina through a narrow cervix. The cavity of the cervix called the cervical canal communicates with the vagina through the external orifice and with the uterus through the internal orifice. The cervical canal along with vagina forms the birth canal. The wall of the uterus has three layers of tissues, the outermost thin membranous serous layer called the perimetrium, the middle thick muscular layer called myometrium and the inner glandular layer called endometrium. The endometrium undergoes cyclic changes during the menstrual cycle while myometrium exhibits strong contraction during parturition. So next vagina, it is a large fibromuscular tube that extends from the cervix to the exterior. It is a female organ of copulation. The female reproductive structure that lie external to the vagina are called external genitalia or vulva comprising of labia majora, labia minora, hymen, and clitoris. So vagina, it's a large median fibromuscular tube extended from cervix to vestibule. Space between the labia minora linked by non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. So highly vascular and open into vestibule through vaginal orifice. The vaginal orifice is partially covered by a mucous membrane called hymen. So the female reproductive structure that lie external to the vagina are called the external genitalia or vulva comprising the labia majora, labia minora, hymen and clitoris. So far we discussed the primary sex organ in female reproductive system. The accessory glands and mammary gland that we discussed in the next session. Thank you.